Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Fact or Cap Paranormal Files. My name is Wes. This is Top Shelfers. And in this series, we dive into paranormal videos from across the web. We decide whether or not they're fake, real, content creation, bullshit. Um, since I forgot this on my last one and someone, you know, so kindly decided to point it out and uh, why give a shit about what I say? I've done paranormal for 15 plus years now, been on investigations, seen some stuff, haven't seen some stuff. I'm pretty harsh on my opinions, um, given just the amount of utter bullshit that I've seen. Um, I'm not, a, I, I wouldn't consider myself a skeptic. I have seen some stuff that I don't know how to explain, but I definitely don't think it is the, uh, whatever's going on isn't the mainstream ideology of what ghosts or paranormal is at this point. Uh, I do believe there's something going on. What that is, time will tell. Uh, I think the further we get involved in technology and the further down the rabbit hole we go there, the more that we might understand what paranormal actually is. So without further ado, we have another wonderful nukes top five. His link will be down below. Uh, we have top 10 ghost videos. So scary. You'll have gravy pants. Uh, so implying that I'm going to get so scared that I will literally shit my pants. Uh, let's hope so. I'm looking for some good shit. Last week's was uh, had some decent ones, but definitely need some scary ones. Let's hop into it, though. Jordan Curran and his two children were enjoying a quiet night at an Airbnb in Anchorage, Alaska. It's late in the evening when the kids fall asleep in Jordan's arms, and he takes a video to preserve this precious moment. What happens next absolutely scares the out of him. <sighs> Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh my god, I'm so. F oh my god, look, legit goosebumps. Oh my god. What the f is that? Jordan hears a creepy growl, and when he looks at his phone, he spots the dark silhouette of a figure with no visible features standing right behind him. He jumps up and spins around, but there's nothing there. The figure has disappeared. To this day, Jordan still has no idea who or what was in the room with him and his children. He still worries about what might have happened if he hadn't been awake. The grip of the grave. That's an interesting one. And it's interesting because, like, I do think that... I don't think that this is he's faking this because it's genuinely like i mean he's not gonna wake up his kids right for a video he would just tell them like hey let's make this video pretend you're asleep they definitely look like oops jordan curran and his two children they definitely look like they're completely zonked like i don't think he's faking it and like if you look at his reaction let's slow it down a little bit he goes from like, oh, this shit's wholesome, isn't it? Like, I'm so happy right now, to then just sheer panic. Right? Like, that's not uh that's not an acting reaction, right? That was a uh, let me move these kids out of the way without hurting them, and I'm gonna get up and beat some ass. I mean, the only thing that's weird is, like, he does have it, like, perfectly framed, right? Like, kid, him, and then he's got this little fucking thing. I, I wish that he would have recorded more of it. I wish he would have, like, flipped the lights on, shown the room a little bit, because there could just be something that's, like... Because his light's on, right? Like, there's some light that's on in the room, so it definitely could be reflecting... Um, reflecting like a something somewhere right I, I don't i'm not denying that that can't be the truth um and i'm also kind of wondering if maybe once he got up and got resituated and laid back down he found out what the what was going on here but i think his reaction was genuine i mean <clears throat> no one's gonna intentionally like freak out and wake up the kids 
and he seems like he really is just happy that you know his kids fell asleep it's all cute it's humble he's got a fucking gnarly ass head tattoo that's fucking cool um you know just being cute with your kids like i, I don't know I, I don't see any harm and just see something crazy and goes into protection mode definitely a weird one i wish there was more to the video like i said you can kind of see like he stands up and it's gone so was it just that angle that was uh being weird i don't know it's an interesting one definitely not leaning towards paranormal but it, i am leaning towards it being genuine the grip of the grave. Ooh, the Jimena Barón, an Argentine star with more than 6 million Instagram fans, usually posts glimpses of her daily life as she travels, acts, and sings. But one day she posts a video on her Instagram story that is very out of character. The video is security footage that shows Jimena hanging out at her friend's house in Argentina. Something happens that Jimena says still gives her chills to this day. says she felt something forcibly touch her back. She jumps up and turns around, expecting someone to be there, perhaps playing a prank. There's no one. But did you see it? Well, probably not, because this video looks like it was shot with a potato. But after posting the video to Instagram, Jimena's worried fans pointed out that in the video, they see two ghostly hands grabbing at her head and right shoulder. Jimena says that she is shocked and doesn't know what to do other than to just move on and try to forget. Since then, Jimena has never posted anything more about the paranormal. Mimic. Yeah, I, I, I don't buy it. The potato quality is too low. That could totally be pixelation. And let's be honest with each other, right? Like, there's a level of when you reach, like when you're trying to grow, um when certain content creators are trying to grow they hit like that plateau you know around like 30 40 thousand and they're like right on the cusp of being there and then they'll do kind of whatever shit they need to do right so i i don't know i i, I just don't buy it I, I think it's fake whatever happened here who knows it could have been a honestly i'm leaning more towards i bet that this didn't have anything to do with feeling like someone grabbed her and maybe you know, like this plant other... drip some water on her back or some shit like that seems more realistic to me and then they just turn it into a weird paranormal thing for some for some online clout melody rose from los angeles california is recording a tiktok video about perfume when something very strange happens Okay, if you're like me and you're looking for a new signature scent that like will have you needing to beat off men with beat off pause, but you know Why'd you say like that? You know what I mean like you won't have to beat them away let me rethink this basically everybody will hunt you down and be like what are you wearing because one time i had left the room and this chick followed me and she was like even though you're no longer in the room i can still smell you what is that bitch this and i keep buying the discovery sets one because they're cheaper two because this brand has so many scents that i'm like which one do i even love like i don't know i'm leaning towards the arabians tonka i think that's how you say it an unidentified childlike voice can be heard saying hey and melody with beat off pause but you know that i'm like which one do i even love like i don't know now melody doesn't hear this voice at all and is completely unaware of what she just captured so she switches to another topic and records another video but then she hears it okay first of all why didn't anyone tell me no. that if you have sh yeah
my bad. So I forgot. I didn't think about it. I'm home alone. And I thought... I thought someone called me and I'm... Fake, 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 fake. Maybe it was my cat, and she sounds like a human sometimes. That was you, right? Nah. The cat's like, why, yes, mother, it was me. Now feed me the souls of the innocent. Right? Someone calls out Melody's name loud enough that she actually answers back. Okay, first of all, why didn't anyone tell me no. that if you have sh yeah? But then Melody remembers something creepy. She's home alone. She immediately begins to freak out and the voice calls her name again. Melody. Now, equally strange, a creepy hissing or breathing sound can be heard in the audio of her entire recording. So, after posting the video to TikTok, many viewers believe that Melody is dealing with a mimic, a type of entity that copies the voice of its target and their family in an attempt to take over their life. But others believe that it might simply just be a malfunctioning Amazon Alexa. But Melody says that she has no Alexa devices in her home. Another thing, Alexa, I don't have an Alexa. So is Melody in danger from a supernatural force? Or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. Scream. Yeah, for sure. Hoax. Sierra J. So like, I think the first one, right? Like where she can't hear it, it does sound like a little kid. And I think, again, some sort of TikTok content creator, obviously makeup person, I, I don't know whatever they got going on like there there's a thing that you got to understand with with different variations of content creation where you know there's people who are doing it because they they have a passion for it or they you know they want to stay they they, they just want to create videos to create videos and then there's people who are literally doing it in hopes of like making money and, and being big and, and yada, yada, yada. So when you're, when you're in it for the money, which I'm not, Hey, listen, I, I'm not saying this is a bad thing, right? But you, you basically run on any momentum you have. So I think that there was a kid or something in her house, the first video doing whatever, saying dumb shit. She ignored it. She's part of the video gets a bunch of messages in the comment section. Like, yo, what the fuck was that? Is your house haunted? Like the paranormal community showed up and was like, Hey, hold on a second. What's going on here. And then she's all like, Oh wow. Look at all these views. Look at all this, you know, un, what is the word? Like not expected, unexpected clout for this video that I posted about paranormal let's run with it you know where this last one you know i talked about person making content in the paranormal world i don't i think that she just rolled with it and then paranormal doesn't fit in with her her you know aesthetic and what she's got going on so she just said yeah well that was a weird one-off whatever we'll make it into whatever we want to make it into and then we'll call it good where this one i feel like it's more along the lines of she started getting people coming in being like, yo, that's a fucking ghost in your house. What the hell? And then she was like, well, I mean, okay, I guess maybe there's a ghost. This is getting me more views than my makeup stuff is. I guess we're doing ghost stuff for now. Casey, a concerned mother and TikTok user side. Scream. Sierra J. Casey, a concerned mother and TikTok user, has been noticing some very strange behavior from her daughter at their Texas home. One day, the toddler comes running out of her bedroom, terrified and refusing to go back. TikTok user Sierra is worried that something might have happened and checks the footage on her ring nanny cam. What she discovers shocks her to her core. Yeah. 
The toddler stands in her room looking around and seemingly confused. Then a loud scream pierces the air, sending the little girl running for mommy. Yeah. Sierra J. Casey says her daughter claimed that a quote, woman screamed at her. But when she checked her room, she found no one there. Even creepier, previous videos show the toddler being scared in her room before, seemingly staring at someone that we can't see. Now Sierra Casey believes she might have caught a She's ghostly staring encounter at the camera. on camera, but worried TikTok viewers warn her that it could be something worse. A hacker accessing her ring camera. So is it a ghost caught on camera or something even more terrifying? A real person watching and scaring a little girl in her bedroom. We need scary video. Yeah, I've heard of that. And that, I'm glad that he mentioned that because that was something that I was going to mention is that there's... I, I I've heard and I think we've seen on here or at some point I've seen like an investigation video where they did find that someone was hacking into these people's cameras, um, which opens up a can of worms for a whole bunch of diabolical, horrible stuff. Right. Um, so my question here, not question, but my observation is that, right is that either someone's hacking into their cameras, it definitely could be a, a, a glitch in the sense of like, maybe the mom was watching the camera and then um, started blow drying her hair and there was a large, you know, cause it kind of sounds like wind to me, right? Like someone's like, like blowing into the microphone, you know, it could be if we're gonna go on the, and this is just, I, I don't have any validity behind this, but if we were going to go bad parenting route, maybe it's the parent like fucking with the kid to make videos. If that's the case, that's, that's pretty, that's awful. But I, I don't think that is, I think it's either an accident where the camera, like the controller of the camera uh, was left on and maybe like some sort of weird noise, like pocket noise. I, I don't know. Or someone was hacking into it. Definitely not paranormal, because, I mean, she's staring right at the camera. A real person watching and scaring a little girl in her bedroom. She fucking scurried we off, need though. scary videos. So if you see a scary video that you think would be great on the top five, email us at nukestop5 at gmail.com. The old Bayless paper mill. While on a motorcycle road trip, Kenneth Statkin and his friend Justin decide to explore the ruins of Bayless Paper Mill in Austin, Pennsylvania. The paper mill was destroyed over 100 years ago when the nearby dam collapsed, sending a massive wall of water crashing down on the factory. 78 people lost their lives. Now it should be noted that Kenneth and Justin are not YouTube paranormal investigators. They're not even urban explorers. They are just curious travelers passing through. So, when the guys arrive in town, they meet a local man who warns them that the Bayless Mill is haunted by the victim's ghosts, and that he has even had a paranormal encounter himself. That you definitely think that place is haunted. Oh yeah, most it? definitely. The paper mill is haunted as because I went there the one night, <laughs> me and my buddies. We all went over there, and uh, like something ran behind us. No kidding. On Snapchat, like he caught it on camera and everything. Kenneth and Justin arrive at the paper mill and begin exploring the decaying structure, just as the sun is starting to set on their day. Isn't it kind of funny to you guys? Maybe it's just funny to me, and this is more of a commentary just on life, not this video, but like, you know. This is the new age version of that guy that you, you know, you see in videos that's like 60, 65 years old, just doing his thing up in his little piece of land. Oh, wait, maybe this is like a traveling mechanic. Never mind. Because I went there the one night, me and my buddy. Just as the sun is starting to set on their day, Kenneth and his friend find the mill's dark basement and head down to check it out. And this is when things take a very creepy turn. Oh my goodness. And let's go down there and see what's happening. You want to go down there? Absolutely. But let's do it. Okay. Little did we know the experience we would have would leave chills running down the back of our necks the rest of the night. 
Well, I want to get that lower, closer down here. There's a bone to be on there. Holy sh! See it right there? What is it? A bone. Bone. I don't see. It. Oh, it is. What the? F Holy smokes! It's just animals. Did you hear that? Oh yeah. What was that? I have no idea. The two explorers hear very bizarre sounds, and then a strange voice is heard from the darkness. It sounds very close by. First whimpering sounds could be explained away as simply the odd calls of some strange animal. However, the last sound is different. It's much louder and almost sounds like someone or something calling for help. Hello? No. So the question is, if this was an animal, why would it come closer to the sound of people instead of just running off? Well, whatever it is, Kenneth and Justin are freaked out and they decide to just get out of there. So considering the mill's tragic history, could it be that Kenneth accidentally captured the ghostly voice of one of the 78 people who passed away when the Austin Dam collapsed? You decide. The haunt. No, I, I don't think so. I think that it's exactly, I think it's 100% an animal. And I think that the first animal went off, did its thing, made its noises. They replied like, hello. And then there was another bird in there that just called out as well. I mean, you could hear birds in the background. I think just given the, <laughs> the history of the place and what they were doing and they were exploring it and it was creepy and the atmosphere is creepy that you know, they got roped into the fear of it. And then we see the paranormal. And if you label it paranormal, then of course we think it's paranormal. You know, that old uh, fairy tale. So I, I think it's just birds. But I do like the dynamic of just two bros going out and just going to somewhere paranormal where they have no, like, real thought or opinion on paranormal. That's probably the best investigators we could get out there because they're not going to, like, make every little thing something that it isn't hmm maybe a good uh maybe a good uh show idea did hill house the hill house in mineral wells texas is said to be one of the most haunted locations in the u.s the home is owned by Catherine and edward estes who allow guests to rent out the hill house overnight so that they can have their own supernatural experience in the home Visitors have reported hearing voices being scratched and bitten, and some have even had things thrown at them. The owners say that most guests get so freaked out that they leave early and often don't even make it through the night. So one night, a group of friends rent out the Hill House just to have a little spooky fun. Now, none of the group are paranormal investigators. In fact, they're not even really believers in the supernatural at all. But that is about to change. One member of the group, Victoria, lays down on a bed and jokingly starts to taunt one of the spirits that is said to haunt the house. Needless to say, it did not go well. As you can see, she was yanked off the bed. This was not a fall. And then they ran out. We're going to rewind that and we're going to show you in regular screen. Something seems to violently yank Victoria right off the bed as her friends watch in horror. 
The security camera in the room catches the action as Victoria quickly gets to her feet and the group just makes a run for it. One of the guys is so panicked that he drops his phone and doesn't even stop to pick it up. Now, cut to almost one hour later. It's around 3 in the morning and a guy named Drew wants to test out the supposedly paranormal activity for himself. He enters the same room and immediately begins to aggressively taunt the ghost. He says that the spirit is a coward and that if it really wants to attack someone, why doesn't it attack a man? Same room. Look at the guy in the white hat right here, guys. Follow him. Before I can even finish my sentence, I'm in the air. All right, we're going to pull it back. Did you see he got pushed? So, Drew gets his wish. He is violently shoved by something, and then he almost knocks down his two friends as he runs from the room. But it gets even weirder because as Drew and his friends run out, something seems to yank the door closed behind them. And if you watch closely, you can actually see the doorknob move as if it's being pulled. Now, since these creepy incidents, the Haunted Hill House has gotten national recognition online and through various news outlets. Sean Gigi, a news reporter for local TV station WFAA, goes to the Hill House to interview the owners, Catherine and Edward. But what he doesn't know is that he too is about to have a paranormal experience, all caught by his own news camera. What was that? Did you hear that? In the middle of the interview, we heard something scratching. My microphone didn't pick it up very well, but I'm being completely honest when I tell you, I heard it clearly. And the creepy incidents at the Haunted Hill House just don't seem to stop. Because remember Victoria who got yanked off the bed by some unseen force? Well, a year after her first terrifying visit, Victoria returned to Hill House again. And this time, something scratched her back so badly that her shirt was soaked in blood. So is the Hill House in Mineral Springs, Texas one of the most haunted places on Earth? And would you stay overnight and taunt the spirits inside? Let me know down in the comments. It follows. Uh, stuff like this is so tough because, like, I, I love love. I mean, I, I, I like what I mean when I say love is like I it's great video of her getting yanked off the bench and horror. like it really is. Because like. She's far enough away. So we can't, it's clearly not the dude standing up, right? She's far enough from him that it can't be that. She doesn't even look like she's really paying attention. Oh, that's kind of weird though. Hold on. It almost looks like, because my initial thought was that she was getting grabbed by, like, the leg. But it looks like something grabs her shirt. I mean, that might just be the momentum of her getting yanked. I mean, she definitely gets, she, she falls out of the bed one way or the other, right? He's not close enough to do it. Hold on. Let's take another look at something here that I just saw. Sorry, bear with me, I know. So she's yanked off the bed. They react. Dude's like, what the fuck? He turns. Oops, I forgot that speeds it up. So basically, I'm just trying to look like when we... 
when he finally moves, do we see anything weird here? That's her arm. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's her face. That's creepy. I mean, we just don't see anything that's to indicate a fake. Because here's my thought process behind it, right? Like, if if we're going in the realm of fake, um, you know, we we've talked about these other haunted locations that get just a ginormous boost when they get publicity, right? Like when someone finds out that your place is haunted, your bar your house, your, your museum, your anything that gets haunted, it immediately attracts a specific type of guest, someone like me, right? Cause you're just like, I would like, I immediately would go pay to stay at this place and I would probably pay a premium cause I'm an asshole and, and want to get scared. So, you know, if it's two fifty three hundred dollars $300 a night to stay in this Hill house, uh, I, I would do it. Right. Because I, I would want to know and interfere with it or interact with it. And of course, I'm sure 95 percent of the guests who go never see or hear anything, just like how paranormal always is. So I always have that in the back of my mind that these people are it's it's part of the sales pitch. Right. But I am a little. I'm a little off put by these people who are running it. Not in the sense of like not believing, but in the sense of like they don't really seem. Oop, sorry, forgot. It always sounds like <laughs> awful when it's Pull. slowed down. Now, since these creepy incidents, the haunt. So what I was gonna say is like these people don't really seem. Online and through various news outlets, Shang Yigi, a news reporter for local TV station WFAA, goes to the Hill House to interview the owners, Catherine and Edward. But what he doesn't know is that he too is about to have a paranormal experience, all caught by his own news camera. What was that? Did you hear that? In the middle of the interview, we heard something scratching. I, I can't tell. Like, and I mean, appearance wise, you should never really judge people because anyone could be anybody at any time, right? My microphone didn't pick it up very well, but I'm being completely honest when I tell you, I heard it clearly. Because this is the thing that bothers me, right? Like, if the place is really haunted, why are they doing all the excess fluff, right? Like, even right here, they have the creepy dolls on the set for the... The news interview they have all the weird shit in the bedroom right so like why do if your place is really really haunted and you really really think that there's just some crazy shit going on why do all the extra fluff and the creepy incidents at the haunted hill house just don't seem to stop because remember Victoria who get yanked off the bed by some unseen force? Well, a year after her first terrifying visit, Victoria returned to Hill House again. So is the Hill House and mineral spirits inside? Let me know down in the comments. It follows. I mean, my biggest thing is like... <sighs> Where I'm at with it is... Either it's <laughs> if they weren't doing all the fluff with the extra shit, like the weird clown or whatever statue in the bedroom, like I bet. Okay. Well, maybe it's fucking haunted, 
But because they do all the extra fluff, I feel like it's just trying to find a payoff. And for me to really believe it is like the only other interaction that they have that we're seeing here is the newscast and they hear some scratching. That could be fucking anything. That could be fucking rats in the ceiling. We don't know. Um, For me to really be sold is to not know is to find out if there's any connection between that those groups of people who had that experience and the owners. That would be the only thing left for me. If there's if we can prove without any undoubted belief that there's no connection and they were just guests and crazy and they were curious and the crazy shit and crazy shit happened to them, then maybe there is something going on there. If we could prove that there's a connection and they're all working together for the betterment of their renting business or whatever they got going on, Airbnb, does he exactly what we need to know. 